the last thing I want to point out is that there is a couple different uh, times that you can use simple quadratic factoring where the pattern will work exactly the same, um, but it might not look right away like simple quadratic factoring. Um, one of the cases is where uh, A is a common factor to the expression. Um, for example, you might um, be asked to factor 3x squared plus 6x minus 24. Okay? Now, this might doesn't look like simple quadratic factoring pattern. Why? Because we don't have a naked x squared. We have this uh, a is not 1, a is 3. But uh, this is a case where that a number, that 3, is a common factor, right? So, um, right, because 3 can be divided out of 3 out of 3x squared, it can be divided out of 6x, and it can be divided out of negative 24. So if I take that 3 out, I'm left with x squared plus 2x minus um, 8, right? And uh, now what I'm left with here in my brackets, I'm left with just a simple quadratic uh, expression, right? So that 3, it stays out in front, and I'm going to break um, that expression down to two things. Uh, I know it must be a plus and a minus because uh, this is a minus 8 at the end here, right? That tells me I need a positive and a negative. Well, things that multiply to 8, 1 and 8, 2 and 4, that's it. So uh, I don't think I can make 1 and 8 add to positive 2, but I think I can make positive uh, 4 and negative 2 multiply to negative 8 and add to positive 2. So um, I get this uh, factored expression, which has this coefficient out in front. Uh, it's the a value that we started with. The second case where you might see, you might have a second variable. For example, uh, you might get something like x squared minus 6xy plus 5y squared. And uh, this is not as scary as it looks. Uh, because you know how to do the simple quadratic uh, expression, how to factor this, right? Things that multiply to 5 uh, and add to negative 6. Well, uh, I know it must be two minuses, x minus and x minus, and there's only one thing that multiplies to 5, 1 and 5, uh, x minus 1 and x minus 5, right? That should work. Um, and I could see that, well, how would, if I were to factor this down, um, I know that an x and an x would if I foiled it out, um, x times x would give me an x squared, right? Uh, the, I notice that these b and c values are the same. I just happen to have this extra y here. And uh, this is just a matter of getting used to uh, having that second variable in there. Um, it is going to be still the same pattern because the numbers work out the exact same. Right? But where would this y squared have come from on the, uh, on the last variable? Well, that's the L of foil, right? The last two things multiplying together. So if I had a y here and a y there, uh, and I work my way backwards, I think you can see that um, the simple quadratic factoring pattern works just fine. You just have to account for the second variable. If there are two variables, you will usually see them just like this, where the, the one variable is squared at the front end, the second variable is squared at the back end, and that's because in the two binomials, uh, you just had an uh, one variable, other variable, one variable, other variable. And that's just another pattern uh, that you get used to. But as far as the what actually goes in the brackets for the, um, the numbers, the minus 1, the minus 5, they come out exactly the same way that uh, they would have had, had there just been the one variable. All right, this, uh, this skill uh, of factoring quadratics, especially uh, the simple factoring of quadratics, is an essential, essential skill, uh, both for this unit and for uh, the rest of um, the rest of this year and for future years. So this is just something that we're going to practice, practice, practice. Uh, you need to get good at it. You need to be efficient at it, and you need to be accurate at it. All right. We'll see you later.